Hey there, Sam. There's a special variable called this in JavaScript. What does it do? Well, it represents the context of your code. I'll show you what I mean. For example, let's say I have a car object here, and a car has a model and a brand property, and also a drive function. And let's console log out the this keyword inside the drive function. And we'll run car.drive. And surprise, surprise, we see the car object. So why is that? And again, the this keyword represent the context. So in here, we're calling the drive function on car. The context here is the car object, and therefore we get the car object from the this keyword. Now, what would happen if I set a new variable equal to the drive property of the car object, and then we call it right away? What do you think will happen here? Would there be any changes? Only one way to find out. And we get the Windows object. What the hell is going on here? Let's break it down. So again, the this keyword represent the context. Here we made a copy of the drive function into a boom variable. And then when we call this function, we're no longer calling it from the car object. So the context here is no longer the car object. The context will be by default the global object, which will be the Windows object. So that's the reason why we see Windows in the console log. And one more question. What do you think will happen if I just console log out this out of nowhere? It is the Windows object. Why? Because, as we talked about just now, this keyword defaults to the global object, which is the Windows object in the browser. Okay, now, why do we need to care about the this keyword? The reason is that this keyword could be handy when we want to update the properties of an object inside an object's function. For example, suppose we are creating a game, and this game has a toad character. The toad has an X and Y position, and also some functions to control the movement. So move left will be a function that takes in a unit input, which will tell the toad to move to the left on how many units. So here we want to update the x position. We will just decrement the x pose property by the unit supplied. So what we can do here is to type in this dot x position minus equal to, which means decrement, and our unit parameter. So this line will decrease the x position by the unit supplied. In other words, move the x position to the left. And similarly, for the other direction, we can do the same using the same format. And we'll also create a getPosition function, which will just print out our x position and y position. And now, if we tell our toad to move right by 50 units, and we call the getPosition function directly after it, we'll get 50 and 0, because now the x position property has been increased by 50 units by our move right function. And all we're doing here is to use the this keyword to update our object properties. Let's take a look at another example before we end the lesson. Now suppose I have an inner function inside my getPosition function here. And inside the inner function, I'll just console out the this keyword. What do you think will happen if I try to run the inner function? Would the this inside the inner function be the window object or the toad? Let's find it out. We'll run the inner function. And we get the window. Why? because we're calling inner on its own without any predefined context. So by default, JavaScript has set the context to the global object, which is the window object. So a quick way to find out what the this keyword is, is to check what is calling a function. If we're calling a function from an object, then the this keyword would represent the object itself. However, if we're calling a function on its own, just like the inner function here, the this keyword would represent the window object. And that's a quick intro to the this keyword in JavaScript. Key takeaway for this lesson, the this keyword represents the calling context. By default, the this keyword resolved to the global object, which is the Windows object in the browser. The this keyword is very useful to access information in the current context. For example, to get or update properties inside an object. That's it for now, and I'll see you again shortly. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for your support.